We've come down to Rawai in the south of Phuket today to visit Batik House, the Batik workshop, homestay and retail store. Although Batik is often more closely associated with the islands of Indonesia, the art and craft is very much alive here in Phuket today. Early examples of Batik have been found throughout Asia, the Middle East and Africa, some more than 2,000 years old. It's likely that the craft developed in Asia and spread west along the old caravan routes. Today, batik can be found in many countries in Asia and Western Africa. Traditionally considered a craft, it has developed into an artistic medium which has attracted artists and fashion designers from around the world. Kun Apinan is the owner and teacher here at Batik Homestay. So how long have you been making batik here in Phuket? Uh, before I'm a teacher in the college, like uh, 20 years ago, then one man from Malaysia come to teach batik in my college. And then I uh, make, teach the student and like uh, we are the first generation of batik Phuket. Yeah. After this, we like uh, make uh, some business like uh, 15 years ago and just moved to here like uh, four, just only four years here. And can you tell us a little bit about the homestay you have here? Uh, we have four rooms here and some guests come to make learn a, a, like a lesson of batik at night and daytime they go like a travel or to around on, or to the beach or something like this. Oh, nice, nice. And can you tell us a little bit about the batik process? How long does it take to, to make a batik piece? Uh, for the for the uh, tourists, they come like a by group, some like a Japanese by fam family, and then they make batik, you know, uh, like a handkerchief, like a, in hours, like by wax and then painting and then after thing fixing and then take batik home. So can you tell us what's happening here in your workshop? Uh, we have many different style of batik, you know, like a by wax or special design like a uh, not a fish or flower like a like a like another design mm -hmm. my idea my create something like this yeah and how about the different steps it takes to to uh, make a piece? some of like just all right uh, drawing wax first mm -hmm. uh, when drawing the line now we must always join the light together after this we painting Mm -hmm. Painting and then after painting we fix chemical for one night and then after this we wash and boil in hot water to make the wax out. Here the wax is being applied using a canting pen. This is a wooden handle tool with a metal cup and spout from which the hot wax slowly flows. It allows the experienced and skilled artist to create free-flowing designs and patterns. For complex color designs, the dyes can be added by brush. The wax forms a barrier layer which stops the dye spreading and prevents the fabric under the wax absorbing the dye. It is the striking contrast between these dyed and undyed areas and the sharp separation of colors which defines the characteristic patterns and designs of batik. Wow, look at this, it's beautiful. How long does it take you to, to make this? It's around uh, four days. Four yeah, days, yeah. wow. And, and who are the, the women in the picture? It's uh, after Sudami, the tea ready, ready for their hus husband come back home, something like that. Wow, mm. and here's the, the fishing boat, yeah? Uh -huh. Oh, it's beautiful. And so now we, we take it to, to... To fix the chemicals. To fix the chemicals. Okay. So we're going to, to fix the chemical? Yeah, huh? we will fix. fix after dry, the color dry, we go to fix chemical for... Uh, to, to fix the color when washing or use the color, not gone. Okay, yeah. yeah. So to, to fix the color, we must you time at least six hours or overnight. Uh -huh. Must be, be careful to put in the chemical to, to ensure that every area, every inch of the batik fixed with chemical. Okay. 
So after that, what happens? We take up that and wash the body from it until the color, some some chemical out. Uh -huh. After this, we will wash and boil in hot water. So uh, this to make the wax out. After this, we put in uh, to wash again. Wash it again in yeah. the cold water. In cold water, many times until the water is clean. Okay. After this, finish and put under the sun. Wow. Ban Batik in Rawai offers the complete Batik experience. From one hour lessons to homestay programs with full instruction over several days. As one of the most established Batik workshops in Phuket, it has been host to many honored guests including Her Royal Highness, Princess Som Sawali. The in-house artists produce very high-quality batik designs, many of which are for sale in the on-site shop alongside traditional batik works from Indonesia. Very popular, of course, are the original and innovative designs of resident teacher and artist Ajan Apinan. So it looked so much fun and the colors are so vibrant, I couldn't resist. I had to have a go myself. <laughs>